Hey, it's Dee Dee from Healthy Hearing Loss. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a new device that I'm super excited and optimistic about. It is the Echo Duo ECG Digital Stethoscope. Here it is, it's a nice little gadget. And I'm going to share five different ways that you can connect to the Duo if you decide to buy it. You can do it with or without hearing aids, but I need to gather a bunch of equipment so I can show you all that. So I'm gonna go off and do that set up my camera, and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Stick around. Welcome back. I have all my equipment over here on my right side, and I'm going to be talking about different setups for this Echo Duo ECG digital stethoscope. I'm going to refer to it as the Duo to keep it simple, okay? Before we go and discuss the different ways that you can connect to the Duo, I wanted to talk about a few things. First is the cost. It's another hefty price for a stethoscope. It is $379 for just the Duo itself. If you wanted to go ahead and get the earpiece that goes with it, here it is, then this is together is $399. If you bought this and then later on you decided that you wanted to buy the earpiece, the earpiece is going to be $39, I believe. Probably cheaper to just do both if you're going to consider it. So that's the first thing. Now, I don't really mind paying that kind of money because I am really, really picky about my bodily sound. So I will pay the extra money to buy a newer stethoscope if it's if it's beneficial for me to hear sounds. As far as the features and the functions of this duo, I, it's very, very simple. I am going to show you how to do this. First thing is there's a, a round button in the middle. You hold it for two seconds to turn it on. You click three times to change the programs for different frequencies that you wanna listen to for bodily sounds. And then to turn it off, you're going to simply hold it for two seconds and it comes off. On the side, it has the volume right here. You click the top, you click the bottom, increase it, decrease it. And when you do that, you'll notice that the lights in the front will change as you're increasing it. On the back, it has the pad for the ECG. Basically, it's an electrode right here. And then on the bottom, it has a jack, an audio jack, so you can connect an audio cable. It's pretty slim and it's small, so I wanted to compare it to my phone. So this is the size of my phone, and then this is the size of the Duo. And what it says on the website is that this can amplify 60 times. The Lippmann core stethoscope, which is right here, can amplify 40 times. So that's the reason why I bought it, because I wanted to see if I can hear better with this. And when I think about the amplification, I think about this article I read that's on Ample, the, the Association of Medical Professionals with Hearing Loss. And on that website, if you go onto that website, you go to the top and it says stethoscope, and then you click on that and go to the drop down. It says article, and the article talks about the frequencies of stethoscope. What I found interesting in that article is that the author talked about that when you go to your audiologist and get tested for your hearing, they will map it on their audiogram, and they're testing the frequencies from 250 to 8,000 hertz. So that's where speech is mostly heard. So they're really just looking to see how much you can hear with speech. And when you look at stethoscopes in bodily sounds, if you listen with a stethoscope, a lot of those frequencies are less than 250. If you're interested in that article, go ahead and check it out. The author is doing ongoing study on it, so I'm very interested in that. It was just something to point out. I wanted to mention why I ended up buying this tubing earpiece part. And the reason I did was because I wanted to be able to hang it around my neck. And I'm gonna show you that. But first thing I wanted to show you is that when you connect this thing, it doesn't just simply push in. You need to push it in and screw it on. 
Now that I have this connected, I'm gonna go ahead and put this around my neck. So that's how it would look around my neck. I'm not really pleased with the way it looks because it does seem a little awkward, but I do like the fact that I can have the earpiece and put it around my neck and that it never falls off of me. And then I can go ahead and do listening and all that kind of stuff. The other reason why I bought the earpiece is that I want to be able to allow my colleagues and students to listen to lung sounds as well, or hat sounds or bower sounds. It comes comes with these standard ear pieces right on the end there and in the box they has these little rubber type ear pieces that you can put on. They're a little bit more comfortable. You might want to check that out if you if you buy this. All right, now we're going to get down to the setups. I wanted that to be simple. Before we get on to the setups, I'm just going to go ahead and download the Echo app right on my phone right here. And you can see that here it is. You can connect it to the Echo Core and the Echo Duo. And we'll go ahead and make sure that's off to the side and ready to go. First setup we have is the earpiece itself and the Duo. If you have mild hearing loss, you could probably get away with this. Just take your hearing aids out, put them in your ears like a regular stethoscope and listen that way. It's not a way that I'm going to use because my hearing loss is pretty significant. I have sensory neural hearing loss that was acquired and I have severe to profound hearing loss. So I wouldn't really be able to use this. I need to be able to connect directly to my hearing aids. So that's the first setup I wanted to show you. Now we're going to go to the second setup. So the next setup we're going to talk about is using the Duo with headphones. I don't want to use headphones because I can't hear without my hearing aids, but I couldn't use my hearing aids because they will whistle too much. If I were to put them on, all I would hear is a bunch of sound. Actually, it's not too bad right now. And you just simply connect it to the bottom, right at the bottom of the Duo, because it has an audio jack input there. And if you have cancellation like I have on my headphones, you can click those to get rid of background noise. And that's another Another way to use it if you have hearing aids that do not whistle. Mine are whistling and I am not going to do this. But if you wanted to check it out, go ahead and check it out. Number two setup. Duo to headphones. We're going to go on to the third setup and this one is I'm going to have my phone right next to me over here on my left. I have my Duo right here on my right. Put on my Phonex Paradise which has Bluetooth in them. Actually they're already in. This is going to connect to the Duo through my phone to my Bluetooth right to my hearing aids. So I'm going to just show you how to do it real quick. I have my phone and I'm going to open up the Echo app and you can connect the Core or the Duo right to this. And you can see that as it kind of goes from one screen to the next. And I have to make sure that my phone has Bluetooth on and that is connected to my Paradise hearing aids. And I know that mine is already connected. And now I can go ahead and turn on the Duo by holding the button two seconds. And then I'm going to connect to the Duo there. And it has it there waiting for me. Now I can hear everything on this. It's pretty loud when you, you touch it. I wanted to show you how I do it on myself so that you can see the actual ECG tracing and also S1 and S2 right on the bottom. On the right hand bottom corner here, it's a little circle and it has red, yellow, and goes to green. When you see the little dial go to a screen, it means you have nice connection on your chest. With the ECG pad on here, which is essentially a electrode, is that you need to have it against the skin to work the best. You can also use gel on here, but I'm not gonna do this for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this, but I can't talk because you won't be able to see it. I see the P wave, QRS, T, and the R to R interval looking nice and regular. Oh, it's nice and connected. All right, let me go ahead and disconnect this. I'm going to turn this off so that I don't keep hearing myself in this thing. I can hear the S1 and S2 very well. It is coordinating with the actual S1 and S2 on the diagram there. And the ECG is tracing right over the heart rate. And what I'm finding very interesting is I can, I can feel my own heartbeat 
and I'm connecting it to every S1 and S2, and there's no delay, which I'm very happy about. There's no delay in connecting your hearing aids to Bluetooth to the Duo in your phone. Number four setup. Number four setup requires me to change my hearing aids. So I'm going to take out my hearing aids and put in my Phonics Cross 2. And it does not have Bluetooth and it has T-Quill in it. And I need to use my Compilot 2 streamer. And this is also made by Phonic. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right around my neck. And just a quick review is that if you have T-Coil, it connects to the electromagnetic field of the, the cord that goes around your neck, connects to the streamer, then converts to Bluetooth, which then connects to your phone. The same thing like the last one, I'm going to open the Echo app on my phone. I'm going to turn on my streamer, which is gonna say Compilot 2. Then we're going to turn on the Duo. Once you turn it on, you know, all you have to do is hit the connect button right here and it's connected. So basically this is connecting to your phone and then it connects to the body of the streamer which has Bluetooth in it and then converts it to this electromagnetic field around your neck and connects to your ears through the T-coil. And that sounds just as good as the Bluetooth one. Now the last setup, number five, is the exact same setup except with one additional item. And that's going to be for people who cannot, for some reason, connect through Bluetooth through their streamer, but they have an audio jack in the bottom of their streamer. We're going to use a 3.5 millimeter audio cord and we connect one end to the streamer, the other end to the uh, Duo. You just have an additional step to connect everything in order to hear with the Duo through a streamer that does not have Bluetooth in it. Basically, this is the Duo is a direct audio to your streamer that uses the electromagnetic field to your t curl and it connects to the phone from the Echo because that's Bluetooth. So that's number five. The way I'm going to use it is through my Phonak Paradise using Bluetooth that goes directly to the Duo and then connects to my phone. That's the way I'm going to use it in clinic. I'm really super excited to try this in the clinic. So those are the five different ways to use the Duo. Let me know in the comments if you want me to share my experience with the Duo in the clinic as well as outside while I'm doing street medicine. I'm going to record ECGs and I will share them on that video if you're interested. That's the end of this video. If you like it, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll know about my next video. Take care. Bye.